Next lunar eclipse is in January. Capra. Hey traders, welcome to episode 605 of the show. You could be doing anything, but you're here, and I appreciate it. Uh, nothing's really changed, man, on Bitcoin. Like, nothing. It's like the same dollar and cent amount as it was earlier when I did the day stream. But I'm just... Oh, by the way, stay at home, Kang, man. Thanks for the 20 freaking five. Bruh. Bruh. Dude. Thank you, man. All right. So, uh, I don't know, dude, it was like the, it was, it was so dead. It was just like, what's well, even the point, man. It's like, all right, I'll just come by for a second. Just to reiterate kind of what I did today, what we, all the stuff it looked at. Uh, so inverse head and shoulders still might be in play. You're still making a higher low than your previous low, but the daily doesn't show us anything that great. And, uh, when the daily doesn't really show you anything, I mean, the four hour, it showed us divergence. And from the triple MACD bullish divergence, it manifested into uh, around $1,500 increase in value, right? Kind of where we are now. It went even higher, right? Almost like $2,000 from that bullish engulfing candle and triple MACD bullish divergence at uh, some supports, right? May 30th, 2019. Never hit that PCZ though on the daily, right? for our other pattern, our Gartley. So, uh, 
Yeah, critical resistance at 11,000. That we did break the uh, down sudden resistance. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you see, you're still, you know, you fell below it, kind of just riding it a little bit. Could be a dragon pattern, man, right? But it also could just be the inverse head and shoulders. And there's also the fact that, like, one and two on the bottom, one and two on the top, you could sell off all the way down to 10,000 again, hit the, hit the bottom of the channel. All right. Seems pretty good, though, right, with the heart line resistance and supports. But remember, what's really going on right now is we are in a downtrend. Still in a downtrend. I don't, dude. That was terrible. Can please get some good music, man. Thanks. Yeah, Crypto Couple. I'm not an Instagram peasant. Oh, I'm certainly an Instagram peasant if you're watching. Probably not, but just the offshoot chance. I saw that. I'm drinking some uh, very rare Irwin tea. Oh yeah, man, Irwin tea, get wrecked. So, uh, bruh, I mean, it, whether you wanna say we were in a wedge and we broke out, okay. If we were in a channel, we broke out, okay. We back tested, we rallied, but we're not making higher highs, are we? Oh my God, man. Think about like this, just devil's advocate here. If you're in a downtrend, there's evidence that we're in a downtrend right now, even if it's a short-term downtrend, you're in a downtrend until you break above 12,000. 11,800 whenever you get there moving target so uh, if you are in a downtrend and you're potentially painting a bearish pattern uh oh right Hit the left shoulder head maybe right shoulder of course that might not play out at all but I'm just devil's advocate man when you're in a downtrend what's more reliable a bearish pattern or a bullish pattern you know the answer right it's the bearish pattern so where's the buying pressure, man, with the new week candle, right? We just, three hours ago, we closed the weekly and opened the weekly. Kind of uh, mixed feelings on it, nothing really, I mean, you held support, but didn't really do much. So which one was it? Uh, so here's your log scale Bitmax chart where you're outside of the channel, right? Remember you were in this beautiful, beautiful uptrend and you fell out, but you rallied and you're just riding along that old support, somehow using it as resistance right now. Um, what bullish morning star or Harami, whatever. It can't really be a morning star because it has to open lower, but it opened the same spot that it closed, of course. So Harami star, anyway. You ran up, you're just kind of going sideways, like three days of indecision. And who knows, maybe we'll get a fourth day of indecision. Chat. But you're out of the channel. Out of the channel, and then the weekly. Hold on, let me, uh, which one is it? I can't remember which one it is that I have. Yeah, weekly. All right, so though you, look, last week, bearish engulfing candle, tweezer top. At a critical resistance, 11,500. Uh, so when we sold off, look, we had the follow through price action after the impulse down, right? It went all the way down to 9,100, whatever, and rallied throughout the week to a peak of 11,100, pulled back and closed at 10,600 or so. And that's where we are now. The new week candle, you can clearly see it. Well, maybe you can't. <laughs> you can't really see it. It's just nothing right now very little price action has occurred in the past three hours and that's why i was like does it even should we even go live man are we even alive dude i think the market might be closed for the first time ever kappa <laughs> remember harambe exactly dude well hey weekly harambe in a way definitely in a way you could say that's a harambe i mean candle was closed within the parameters of the previous one <laughs> And that's all you need. Wicks don't really matter. It's the candle body. So just uh, range bound, chat. Range bound so far between on 
candle closes between 9650 or really yeah 9650 and 11,500 so once you get above or below that we're gonna have a much better idea on a close where we're gonna go right so like ever getting a weekly close above 11,500 got a real good chance we're gonna keep going higher right we break below uh, 9600 9650 on the weekly and close we're talking about on Sunday close keep showing up to teach I am so call bruh you are what some cookie monster but I don't know what you just said at the end man thank you Miss Shava with the Morpheus coin in the jar wow Morpheus coin connect dude what's it doing Miss Shaver? you keep up with it still uh, so anyway class C bearish divergence doesn't mean impending price action reversal. It's your weakest form of divergence, right? Remember, chat, if you don't know about divergence, there's three classes. Well, you know, there's three classes of classic divergence. And class C is your weakest. And it, yeah, it just means stagnation and momentum. Okay, so keep your eye on the weekly. Don't ever forget about the weekly. And remember the numbers, 9650 and 11,500 remember those like landmark those numbers in your mind because those are very critical weekly areas of support resistance okay that's all i can really tell you i guess right, about it so okay bitcoin connect i guess we could go over uh, thought process of the gartley and what could happen right so daily just reiterating so the daily uh, still pretty blah, right? I mean, no impending price action reversal of the upside, even though we got it. You're just rallying. You're not making a higher high. You almost look like you're rounding out a little bit on the daily. Or what are you? What are you doing, man? Just going sideways, slightly up sloping. Indecision. So it's it's not really. I mean, besides the geometrical breakout we had on the four hour, sixty minute, not much more beyond that. So there's no real surefire play. Okay, on Bitcoin, I would like to wait, and that requires patience, man, and time for us to maybe break a little bit higher. <clears throat> maybe that measure move gets hit of the uh, potential inverse head and shoulders, and then we keep losing the negative momentum. We get back to neutral, or maybe get a little in the green, <clears throat> and then we sell off again, and we make a lower low, a slightly lower low, and we had a 78% retrace from our previous low, discernible swing low on the daily. To high and from B to C we make a 1272 fib extension uh, the 786 and the 1272 are confluent hey maybe we could even think about the 144 we are kings kappa bruh thanks for the shaver man the two morpheus coins what's better than one morpheus coin two morpheus coins kappa well not really kappa but i think you all understand what i'm saying when i say that weirdly enough right thank you dude cheers this is the t-man I believe the soft launch is tomorrow, Julius. <clears throat> Dalinar, Dalinar, those uh, those tunes are sacred, and they are they are reserved for the confirmed pumps, not the not pumping. Need the pump to happen. It's not a rain dance, dude. That's not how it works. We don't control these markets. Sorry, it was off. Those videos get me, man. Okay, so we just went over the four hour, the da the daily, the weekly. I guess we didn't go over the 60 minute. There are just square ups that's still on both sides that have just not been hit yet. And so that's what makes it a little bit more confusing, a little bit more conflicting, like just harder to say. Freaking moth in here or something, man. Who is it, uh, Pit, Pitbull Man? What happened? Someone posted something. Patreon chat. Cheers, Jay Richards, man. If you're in here. I saw the uh, Tim Draper talk. That was good, man. Dang, dude, he was really, uh, really positive on Bitcoin. 
Hex Connect? What is that? The Tron Connect thing? Nah, dude. I like keeping my money, you know? No cap it there. I didn't turn with the inverse head and shoulders, faking out on Bitcoin bear signal. Uh, Eric, the problem is, though, you still made a higher low. And it's just like... Very nebulous, man, right? We're looking for tops and bottoms as swing traders. A lot of times, pattern development and stuff. And when you start getting weird price action, it's very random, right? In The in-between, the ebbs and flows, very random. But at the bottoms and tops, man, we can see divergence, right? Right, we had pretty clear convergence at the end, right? Uh, this played really well with the bearish cipher pattern. Right up here, the 786 on the dot. For dumping at the bottom, right? At our bottom, we had the weekly, daily, four hour bullish divergence, falling wedge, higher low, 786, PCZ, 1414, Fib extension. All right, so we just, uh, right now, still waiting for uh, more data to feel more confident about a much, like, much better, higher reliable uh, price of entry for Bitcoin just because the, the rally we had, you know, it's, 50% retrace from your previous high to low so far, no higher. So again, would love to see <clears throat> uh, maybe a smaller rally, keep losing the negative Momo, and then eventually make daily bullish divergence. And it looks like this. Did it earlier today. All right, what if we rally up, hit 11.5 again, and then sell off however long it takes. Right? And then at the same time with that, that going on. See what I'm saying now? We'll be looking for something like this. I mean, this is the way, whether it's Bitcoin today or tomorrow or next week or next month, and it does happen or it doesn't happen. Like, like, listen to what's happening. Dude, like, we're, we're trying to makes sense of how we could get those if you're oscillators. not in a rush can you teach me morning star candle uh sure man morning star i can try to find one on the stock market in the shaver yeah dude but uh sure give me a second yeah we'll do that but um you see what's going on chat what we're trying to do like you're you're trying to see what would make us get some favorable variables what's very realistic as a possibility this is and so you could apply this on any chart, on any exchange, on any market, any different market, you know, crypto, forex, stock market. You just you size up a chart, you think about where it's going right now, where it could keep going, and how we could find an entry on a, a long position, right? So, I'm in the chat for, you know, trying to. You know, I mean, this is just, again, it's an idea and could easily fail because we don't know and we're not trying to pretend we know. But my God, what I do know is if this happens and we do end up getting bullish divergence at the 786, oh yeah, man. Oh, it's on, dude. It's freaking on. Right? Think about a bullish divergence and an overall bullish trend with a bullish pattern. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Okay. So give me a second. I'm just going to search a chart. I'm just going to look around, man. You said morning star or evening star. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, there's kind of one. Okay. Make sure I've got the... Uh, I might already have an example. Do I have, no, I have an example in my folder. Let me just pull it up. Easy enough, man. And I have a... Uh, <clears throat> Is that it? Yep. Whoops. 
Where'd it go? All right. This is a morning star. That's it, dude. It's a three candle pattern, right? Red candle. Uh, a lot of times you gap down slightly. You open lower than the previous candle. And then on the third day, you open higher with whatever, you know, it could be red candle, green candle, doesn't matter. Uh, but really, it's just a uh, three candle pattern. The morning star. And the evening star is the same. But the other side, right? It opens higher. I mean, I can just, uh, you know, so in crypto on the daily, there's no way it can actually be a real morning star, uh, more so than it can just be a Harami. It's like they're both bullish reversals or can be potentially, right? And then you've got the, uh, here's your evening star reversal chat. There it is, right? Three candle pattern, like one green candle, preferably on the left side, you open higher. And then the next day you open lower or really just, uh, you know, you close lower than your previous candle after this is all developed, right? Look where we closed. All right, so yes, it took a minute, right? You sold off, you rallied, you sold off again, and it was a much, much larger drop. You just, it's not pictured, okay? It's for the sake of examples and stuff, okay? <clears throat> what does 786 mean? It means 78.6% retrace. It's 0 .7, 0 0.786 or 78.6 virtual coins. Oh boy. Someone saying TA is useless on Bitcoin. Chat, I mean, like, you've been with me 17 months, a lot of you. Is it is it useless, chat? I mean, come on. It's so crazy. So closed minded to say that. TA is useless on Bitcoin. Give me a break, dude. If you're enjoying the education, hit the like button, that bell itself. Let's get a like spike. 600 people here. We were slacking today. You know, just the, the ratio of people versus likes. You know, it's just because uh, the volatility, right, the past four days has been pretty snoozy. You know, and that happens, man. So uh, these are great times to invest in yourself. Really good times to read about candlestick patterns, harmonics, Fibonacci, uh, so many different things you can do in these periods of a lull. So you're better prepared for when the volatility does pick up again. All right. Yeah, BMX trades. For sure, man, right? Uh, someone said it up above, prodigal. So pretentious, man. It's like based based on oh yeah, I'm sure the person saying that really has studied the living crap out of technical analysis and has traded before. So uh, Bimbri, Mitch Kang, crypto beginner. What are you talking about? I literally just did that. I literally just discussed it. You might be behind or something. I guess. Um, something I want to show y'all, and of course it could fail like crazy if Bitcoin fails, right? But I stumbled upon on ZRX. You talk about dragons, Dragon Connect, man. Dragon freaking Connect right here, dude. Okay. See, I gotta get good with. I gotta figure out. Maybe I use the Elliott Wave tool or something for these dragons. Let me let me try. I just I don't want to like have to just draw a stupid dragon every time. There's got to be a tool I can use that like supports me and my idea on the dragon. So I know I saw people, some people on um, online using sort of the 
XABCD or maybe ABCD uh, tool. What's the best way to do it, man? ABCD, I guess. So it's just like. Yeah, so they have it like that and they fill in the colors, which I don't think it will look good. I don't even know if you can fill in the colors on this one. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, you can't, which is okay. Um, just if we're going to be using this more often, right? C, A, B, C, D, E. Still just don't think it's uh, sufficient. There needs to be a dragon tool, Kappa. Call it uh, Daenerys, the Daenerys tool, man. Okay, well anyway, we can draw Trogdor then, I guess. It's a slow evening, right? Right. Um, breathing fire. Whatever, you know, sound effects, man. This is breathing fire. This is the head of the dragon, okay? And it goes down, right? And here's its foot. <coughs> Dude, freaking bugs, man. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is the dragon here, the dragon wings. Uh, you can't, they're not supposed to be actually on the chart, but. Uh, Really know how to draw a wing, man. All right, here, here's your wings, right? You can just do this, so it looks like two wings or something. All right, and then you have the tail. The tail should uh, go out like that, man. I guess in this part of the body, right? So it's like this. And so the t all right, your profit taking levels part of this. They call this the paw, evidently. Some people call it the paw. This is pretty good, man pretty lit the foot's kind of he just uh he just got his you know he's a tap dancer or something right okay so uh the tail should be first profit taking level is right here uh one of the humps okay uh 2.733 cents or sorry 27 cents sorry and then the uh, second profit taking level will be at the head, which is 31.46 cents. Okay. <sighs> Hype in the chat. Hype in the chat. Good guy. Someone screenshot this. Okay, put it in my good idea folder. Thank you. I need some more. Hey, dude, this is what that the Irwin T does. It's the secret or one tea that you can't have okay it gets me freaking jacked Whew. dude this tea is powerful man. all right so profit taking levels again if zrx if, if bitcoin was not to tank and be terrible uh you'd be looking for again 27.3 cents 31.46 cents that's it dude Awesome Sunday stream as always, dude. Thanks for coming on. EOS Connect bouncing to five dollars. Death Dragon Connect on ZRX. Lol, make a wish. You summon the dragon. Have a chat, bruh. For the dragon, dude. All right. Uh, EOS Connect. Yeah, yeah. Bouncing to five dollars. Thought it fell below five. Yeah. Oh, you're saying it's gonna rally there? Uh, maybe. I don't know. So, dude, very bad, man, right? A season that was full of intrigue and emotion, euphoria, happiness, sunny days. It turned to a big storm once the developers had their stupid thing, right? This was the catalyst. This was the end, man. All right, it was on a Saturday. And they $4 billion raised by VCs or whatever investments for them. And they gave us, they said they were coming out with a USB or something. And then, you know, did something else that was really weird. And then that was it. We never saw this price again. We went from the peak 
dude, it was like, it was like leading up to the event. You were rallying all the way to the event, and they just dumped on everyone's heads after the event, man. It was like perfect. Excuse me, man. Wow. Uh, if you want to know about Vegas and stuff, you're going to have to hit up the mods. Hit us up in Discord, man. Okay? We just can't talk about it exactly. Oh, no. A dragon would be bullish in the context that we're looking at it in. You can have bearish dragons. Much difficult to, much more difficult to draw, though, I think, right? You just flip it over and do it that way. Andy, yeah, they'll beat you with experience. Right, man? I think that's the uh, the toss-up or the alley-oop to what you just said, okay? Right. Saturday EOS stream had you in stitches. Yeah, dude, the hands-in-pocket guy. Oh, man. That was bad, dude. Oh, it was just like... You'd think with $4 billion, they would get someone with presentation skills up on the stage. But I guess, like, crypto can be so complicated that they just can't even explain it to someone just for the sake of presentation. They could have done such a better job, man. I'm sorry. EOS screwed the pooch is what they would say. Okay. So you're asking, could it bounce to $5? Well, I mean, from the previous major high, uh, I mean, which we can see right here, I know we got this one up here, high to low. You haven't even made a 23% retrace, right? So uh, the thing about the downtrend, and these are just new adjustments, because it's like, eh, you could go one and two here, but I just want one and two on the bottom now and three on the top. It's like a breakout is like 482 or so. Uh, I mean, like, and I know people would argue and be like, you could just do this too. It's not it's right there as well, which is like 470, so 10 cents. So even if you broke this, there's always a chance you got the channel plotted like that. And, uh, dude, let's just say like this, man. All right, let's keep it simple here on AOS because it's, it's kind of stupid on this one. I'm still in log scale. I don't know, man. 860 to 330 exponential distribution. Yeah, dude. In a very short period of time. Yeah, we're not playing games. That's that's bad. Okay, so high to low between 539. Dude, man. I hope it's not a mosquito or something. God. Annoying. Just get out of my face, man. Get away from me. So your golden zones between 539 and 665. That is where you could expect a common retrace before reversing your price action to the downside again because the trend has been broken, right? So uh that's it, man. But again, you have to break down slope and resistance points, which we have not done yet. Okay. Okay. There's your US. So two blo hey, two blockchains, I uh, hit you up in Discord and general chat. I asked if you were the one that tipped me 24 XRP, $8 worth of XRP. Was that you, man? Let me know. Because if it was, thank you, dude. Uh, and something about 1UpCoin is they, there are some uh, APIs that don't work yet still with Streamlabs. Streamlabs and 1UpCoin. So... The main ones are like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic. Um, you know, the main ones, they're Litecoin, they're good. I don't even know, so. Well, the bug thing's pissing me off. It just keeps like coming by me, my peripheral, and it's like making me feel like it's a mosquito or something. There we go, next season on Game of Coin, I catch malaria and do TA through it. I had walking pneumonia, man. I'm surprised when I go on these uh, trips, man, I'm not getting sick. I'm putting, like, I'm seriously putting my immune system to the test. I got cave people immune system, okay? 
because like I'm just not exposing myself you know like hey it's good you build antibodies antibodies when you're out natural antibodies when you're out in the world meeting people like, shaking hands being around a bunch of people you know the air moving and I'm not doing that because of you know working from home and so when I go to like New York and I'm like on the subway good god my immune system like what I'm not getting sick though man I in the chat Moth memes, JD. Oh God, don't do it, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cameron Odell. Yeah, yeah. My parents are in real estate too. I mean, like you know, they own like properties and stuff, commercial properties. And yeah, yeah, it would definitely be something I'd be interested in. But I am still working on finding balance in my life again so live in Austin was fun yeah dude it was a lot of fun there man always so much stuff to do so Jean-Francois all right so uh, anyway we didn't go to XRP man what the heck scale connect linear scale connect right now go okay. and you know uh, with this being here uh, I think anyone could argue with me and be like Ray what about this man why couldn't it just be this and if this is the case then you haven't broken out of anything man see what I'm saying getting broken crap but it is a pattern that I think is real. You can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Break out. Hey, Mitch, what do you suppose is the origin of the phrase screwed the pooch? I feel that Skeeter is getting back at you for hating on the flies down in Texas. Did you take one home with you? All right, all right, all right. Good talk. Is that a joint? Bruh. Uh, what? Hold on. I gotta. Sometimes I just have to go back and read that again. Okay, it was just, it was a lot. Matthew McConaughey, I don't know where Screw the Pooch came from. I have no idea. Skeeter is gonna, getting back at me for hitting on flies. Uh, dude, come on, man. Like, we were eating the best brisket that I've ever had, and we had to deal with all those flies, man. No thanks, dude. Now, no wonder they were insane, because I, I don't think it was me swatting at the flies. I think it was when the brisket came out a little later that the flies knew it's the best food that I've ever tasted, man. Yeah, or something. I took one home with me? Yeah, dude. No, I took uh, Albert home with me. Remember Albert? We were playing cornhole on a rooftop bar, and this little roach came out and was just wandering around. I'm like, what's up, Albert, dude? And Logan and uh, Steven are like, what, what are you talking about? I'm like, dude, that's my buddy, Albert. Dude, don't, don't hurt him. Don't attack him. Okay. He's going to recover the beanbags for me. And so we made a new friend that night, and we learned about coexisting with you know rooftop cockroaches I mean dude think about a cockroach who's on a rooftop in Austin Texas he's definitely above average for the cockroaches man think about all the cockroaches oh, one could be in the woods in the middle of nowhere and one decides to be on a rooftop bar in Austin with a view you say it man What are you talking about, Shaver man? Albert the Roach. <laughs> so bad, man. Yeah, he did make me win the game, dude. He did. Dude, we were in an intense game of cornhole. I was behind. And then I took the lead. And then I was, like, in the hole again. And then I had to, like, really focus. And then Albert was there, man. What's up, all YouTube gamers, dude? Good to see you, man. Paris Fisher opening music last night was banging. Had you going full haunt on Franz. Blow out a speaker in your rental car? Dude, good. And they'll never even know it was you, man. Okay. Handling cash can give you bad stuff. A bullet for one. Yeah, dude. Yeah, bullet connect. I don't think it can last 24 hours. I, I really don't think a bullet can last 24 hours outside of a host. 
So it would have to be like, hi, I have Ebola. And then you go find someone with Ebola and get their dollar from them. That'd be very difficult, man. I think it's harder to catch Ebola where we live in the U.S. than to not catch it or something. Same thing. Dude, I don't even know, man. That's right, Mitch King, man. You get it, dude. So send you. Okay, so XRP connect. Let's look at Tron Connect again. Tron Connect sprung, dude. Sprung like a king, dude. And just look at this, right? You've been you've been not able to fall below 2.1 cents since January 13th. Well, I mean, it was really since before, you know, right around the beginning of the year. We got above it, we established the support, established the support, and look what happened. You fell slightly below it, just barely broke it, right? And then uh, there was just no, not enough selling pressure, really weak, oversold, and then bullish engulfing candle manifested into extremely higher prices, as you can see here, hitting uh, resistance the, near the top of the range. Right? Not all the way, but definitely a resistance support zone. All right, so uh, still rallying. Uh, very good, man. Very good on Tron Connect springing the white coffee in term spring connect no back test though i don't think cool man yeah cosmic oh oh found it it's a gnat dude all right it's not gonna mess with me Uh, SQ Connect. You want Square Connect? Here you go, dude. Here's your Square Connect. Okay. So we broke out. A geometrical breakout. Momo shift breakout. Uptrend continuation. Oops, sorry. But we've hit 100% retrace and no higher. Uh, since we hit this 100% retrace, rejected it, and we had a big bearish engulfing candle to close the week on Friday. Uh, actually... It's like a bear. It's, it's very, very close to a bearish engulfing, bearish Marabazoo candle, man. Good lord. So just. Nope. Hey, look, inverted hammer. It's an inverted hammer, bearish reversal candle. Seriously. Type in the chat. Hanging man, inverted hammer. Jeez. Daily pattern too. I got these examples too, man. I think. Let's see candlesticks, still hanging man. Yes, I do. All right, hanging man reversal chat. You see it? Here is your example. The hanging man will destroy you. Also. Inverted hammer. Let's see if I have that. I mean, I guess the inverted hammer is the uh, inverse of the hanging man. If that makes sense. It certainly is. Oh, I have another example. Look, here's, a, here's another perfect example of. Oops. Bruh. I have an eye request, because you backed us on previous tops of BTC, 20k. If there is cipher patterns or divergence to be found in those, I guess it's a weird request that market is boring. D. Um, uh, holy crap, dude. Hold on. Artsy, dude. Thanks for the 2258 of freaking Ethereum. Thank you, dude. Um... Really appreciate it. So you had all requests. I mean, that's not odd, dude. That's like really nice. Those are fun, right? Tripping through time. Dude, there's just so much education and like data, you know? We do it all the time. 
You know, let's go to the big screen. Okay, dude, so uh, everyone understand now the Hanging Man reversal has destroyed you into a bearish engulfing bearish Mara Bazoo. Rejection. Couldn't do it, man. Couldn't do it. Gross. Even though you are outside. you Remember, you talk about the geometrical breakouts. That's step one to be a king. What do you have to do after you break out of the down slipping resistance, the Momo shift? You then have to break consistently previous swing highs and we didn't do that and you know macro seems kind of uh tumultuous right now with uh you know the gulf right iran all that stuff and then you got the fed meeting in 10 days on, the on 31st oh man music's all dang it dude there we go i think that's better Jeez. Thanks for the uh, 650 people tuned in. Going to look at Bitcoin Holio. Let's see. I'm going to clean it. You're asking the question. No, I don't think we did. I don't think we had those because uh, I guess we could go to the four hour. I don't think our retrace was high enough. I think it was 61.8% retrace or something. Actually, it's funny you ask, because I was looking at this stuff earlier, really looking for another cipher in the uptrend. I didn't see one real cipher with a lower low, uh, really in the entire uptrend. I mean, if you can find a cipher that's actually real and you actually understand, I applaud those, feel free to give it to me at any point. Uh, during our rally, our run from 2015 all the way to the end of 2017, man. Bruh. Best stream. I'm in show, man. Thanks for the 555 repeating, of course. Thank you, dude. Kanks. So, no. Um, I'm getting on the four hour here. So your all-time highs. I mean, it was kind of like, like X, A, B, C, D, and then you sold off some, but then rallied higher, right? I think. It's just so ridiculous, the wicks. Yeah, that's good there. 50% retrace, so all the seeds up. Nine, it's seven, eight, six. See, so you didn't quite make it to seven, eight, six, did you? 786 was like right here. Okay. So yeah, the, you had a, you did close and reverse at a 1414 fib extent, extension, right? Or a little bit. It was in between the 1414 and the 1618. Okay. So very close. Uh, Cypher. Uh, then if it did play out, I think it hit a target. Yeah. See, it, it did what I've seen them do before where... In uptrends, the ciphers will hit a 50% 382. That's your first target. It hit the 50% and then rallied again one more time before it was all over for Bitcoin. So yeah, maybe right here. But again, we we rallied and had one more hoorah uh, double top. Gosh dang it, oh, freaking nat dude, nat tastic. This peasant. Okay, does that make sense? And then it was just kind of like, uh, dude, you know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of uh, Ethereum. In a way. Got bullish and golden candle, indecision, bullish and golden candle, sideways, bullish and golden candle, kangs. And then on the four hour, what? Oh my goodness. What did it all end with, man? Was it an inverted hammer? No, a hanging man. Are you chat on the four hour? Did we not just talk about a hanging man? It was a green hanging man. Bearish engulfing candle after the hanging dude. How uh, how appropriate us doing education on the hanging man and now we're looking at it. This was uh, December 17th, 2017, man. I mean, we hit uh, 19,850 or so uh, on candle closes. That was the highest candle close of all time. 
Jeez. So we did it, man. We did it. Make sure. Divergence, though. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, man. Look, on the four hour, look, you had like a high on price, a higher high on price, lower levels of positive momentum. But you were still in a very much bullish trend, right? So though the di divergence did play out, I mean, where you did go from like 18,160 all the way down. To 15,707 for rallying again. It did play out just not very much. Okay. Daily, there was all kinds of divergence, man. Yes, there was divergence, there was receding volume uh, on the double top. Okay. Near a psychological resistance at $20,000. A hanging man. Of hang that was the hanging man of hanging mans, exactly. The king of kings of hanging mans, dude. It was uh, the dude, what's his name, Franco? Being like, first time, you know, like new people joining this market, uh, not experiencing insane amount of volatility sometimes. You know what I'm talking about. So it's the same thing. This one, remember this one. Burn this image in your mind. Watch this. I can remember exactly where it is or was. All right. This was in an uptrend. Okay. So it did. It had the exact same performance, dude. Like literally exactly the same. Right here. Bruh, how can you remember where it was, dude? Oh, I'll show you, man. It was right here. X. Was it X A B? Was it? Why is that wick there like that? Bruh, how did it go again? Oh, yeah, was this? No, no way. Google oh. EBS pump prior to earnings. Hold on. Manipulation connect. I'm the Jeff Jeff Ground, man. Go. Bruh. Is that a joint? Oh, my God. Bruh. Thanks, bruh, man. EPS pump prior to earnings, manipulation connect, PPT connect, <laughs> alien robots, neural connect, neural link connect, man. Everything's going robotic. Everything's, we're just going to keep going. Everything's going to go up, man, at the same time. Crypto, gold, silver, stock market, everything, to debt, going to keep going higher, man. All right, so I'm trying to, go back and trying to remember let me uh might pull up my video for this really really struggling to remember um i think i disregarded the wick completely ended up being like that as a 50 percent retrace this was it dude oh yeah it was like just a few dollars off entry and then hit a 50 percent low to high 50 percent retrace right before rallying and being kings Okay, so you did have a bearish pattern in a bull trend that did play out. Yeah, man. And remember what this was, dude. This was a, this was beautiful, man. Remember, this was uh, the idea the whole time. It was a, do a lower low double bottom off of the channel we were in, the structure. Oh, beautiful. Bro, are you kidding me, man? TA's fake, dude. Yeah, look, you broke out of it, then you back tested it twice, and we had bullish divergence. This is where Paro went in. Because we had the bullish divergence. Uh, we called that. We said, hey, man. Low, slightly lower low right there, man. Bam. And this was an L.A. trip. We were in L.A. when all this was going on. Remember that Kang Logan? I think this was... Uh... Yeah, dude, my second time in L.A. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, look on the 8th. So get it, man. This one and then... This one, same performance in an uptrend. The cipher hitting that fifty percent and then going higher. Hive in the chat, bruh. Hi, I'm I'm from the future, man. Which one? Oh yeah, local on the eighth. Dang dude, four hour candle close.
So, dude, probes. Thanks again, man, for the hundred, the hundo. Uh, you said Google Connect. Absolutely destroyed. Dang, dude. This is Bat Connect. Probes, do you think this is Bat Connect or Screwed Connect? Yeah, again, it's like, it's just an idea. Impact of gold price and BTC if Fed cut the rate? Probably not good. I mean, actually, Hello, old friend. it's hard to, hold on. What's up, Emerus, man? Thanks for the $5, dude. Good to see you again, dude. Thank you, man. That was a delayed super chat. So, like, oh, it's tough, man, because it's like, if the Fed cuts rates, the U.S. dollar is going to have to go down in value, right? So, therefore, gold, you would think, would go up, so would Bitcoin. And, you know, if the Fed's cut rates, you probably, depending on, I guess, the basis points of how much they cut, right, um, equities... It's just too dark in here, man. Uh, equities will probably go up if they cut rates hard enough. Okay. So, yeah, man. They cut the rates. It's not good for the dollar. Unless I'm absolutely crazy. Dang, dude. Google's so freaking nice. Go to the think about like this probes. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you here. It doesn't look good. It looks like it might sell off more, but um, right, like crabish X A B C D is way up at like twelve sixty four. But, you know, just ugly, ugly clothes like the rest of the market, right? With the whole Iran thing. That's, I think, what started screwing everything up at the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know. What was it? It was a stupid nap, man. That's what it was. It keeps bothering me, dude. Trolling me. Relaxing sounds best of luck to you too, whatever that means. So yeah, earnings what this week? Now look at the divergence you had into convergence. But overall and an uptrend, man, and a beautiful, beautiful uptrend. Devastation. A lot of tech looks like this where it dumped again, ran up higher low. And is trying to rally again, but not getting very far, is it? It's only, it's retraced 50% of the way from its high right now. And if the pattern was to be real, uh, you know, think about it, man. Like, what's happening? Uh, high on price, same high on price. And uh, so kind of double topped, but attempting to rally again. strongest tea of my life maybe well no yeah they're they're most likely going to cut the rates but depending on how the market responds um you think us will go on board to hide the collapse jenny i don't know man i wish i knew that i, I don't think so i don't think uh you know it's it's an election year next year so i think us going to war would be really bad for President Trump to his campaign. So I think, you know, they're trying to do everything they can to prop this market up, keep the economy look. I mean, the economy is pretty good, man. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Pretty great, not terrible, decent. Doug Bernard, thanks for the uh, two Sion Super Chat. Says, Iran connect. Yes, certainly so. We're in Oprah territory with stock market. Everyone's getting cars. I got your email, dude. I don't really know 
haven't didn't really look into it uh i don't know what you needed or wanted from me to do so about julian soto yeah maybe so digital asset conductor maybe man okay you like the dragon good man i'm glad you liked it trogdor it's 2019 Trogdor Reborn. Okay, man. So a whole bunch of nothing burger going on right now for Bitcoin. That's why we're tripping through time, looking at Google, looking at Square, looking at others, man. Well, there you go, Jeff. Options Connect, Fang Connect. They should definitely put another N in there for NVIDIA. IMO, okay. One day, man. Jake is watching me from Iran. Dude, be careful over there, man. Trying, troubling times. Just going on the macro. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Shut your mouth, Wang Chung. Doug Barnard, thanks for the uh, $6.99 Canadian dollars, man. Sweet, man. Thank you, dude. Very cool. Oh, what do you want me to talk about with Quantum, man? Um, Quantum's really scammy. From what I've read. Really scammy. They... Uh, they started another scrub project um, that's supposed to be worth way more than the scrub project Quantum that hasn't really done anything yet. And um, you can't, if you if you want to invest in it, you can't use Quantum Coin. You have to use new dollars. You can't. So what does that tell you? You can't even use Quantum to support their new new project. I uh, know. Thanks, man. This sounds just sketchy. Just Quantum seems. And you know, just the way it, it seems is like, oh, just like every, most other projects that are just like, I don't know, man. Just why even care about it? Let them do their crap. And if they end up being good, okay, buy in later when they actually, you know, making revenue. Oh, wait. I guess that's not why we're in crypto, huh? No, I think uh, they're going to cut rates. Uh, and depending on the basis points will depend on if the stock market can rally higher. Uh, unleash the fury. Something with Warcraft or something, dude? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jake, it's uh it's a known thing, man. Lots of scammy behavior or really just they're already moving on from quantum to something else. <laughs> like what? That's just it's stupid. It's just such a bad idea. Anyway. I don't know, man. It's kind of a slow evening, man. Uh, Bitcoin hasn't moved an inch since I started the stream, since I ended the stream hours ago. The, the day stream. What's up, Chaz Garcia? Good to see you again, man. Ooh, ouch, man. Gross. Um... So, uh, 
gonna look at the uh, futures chart. Not Bitcoin. S and P futures. This is currently kind of what's happening, I guess. Like one and two and three on the top and one on the bottom. All right, decent amount of touch points. Resistance on the. Oh my God, I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. What is a spring like? You fall out of pattern and jump back in. Bruh. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, sneeze didn't happen. Just be careful here, man. All right. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. You've already built a neckline now. All right, you've already built yourself a neckline. If it, dude, if you can't find buying pressure, what are you doing, right? You're attempting a rally and doing nothing with it. Like, no buying pressure. Just can't break above 382. So there's your neckline. Left shoulder, head, potential right shoulder. Developing right now, okay? Yeah, dude, didn't we, um, thought you were in on the education when we did that, man. Right, when you're range bound. Things can happen where you fall below. Sneeze connect indeed, uh, Doug Bernard. Exactly. That's what happened to me. All right. So when you know you have an ice line, a support or whatever, support zone. Alright, when you fall below it, we break trend lines all the time. But it's how we how the candles respond to the breakouts that really determines where we're going next, right? So if you break out bearishly and there's no follow through on uh, price action, you mean normally you should really start dumping when you break these supports. If you don't and you rally back up, it signifies exhaustion for the sellers. You rally, you back test the area that was once resistance was once a support, then should have been resistance, but then was used as support again. And then from there, you can have a stupendous fast rallies to the top. And that is your spring. A lot of times you can see tons of volume come in down here. You can see tons of volume come in. Why? Why can you see tons of volume? Because it signifies uh, lots and lots of work being done by uh, sellers. Very little reward, right? So tons of buys coming in too. So much work, so little reward, and so then you start climbing on up, and then so you look for volume too on these. I don't know how applicable it is to crypto because of you know the difference, like volume is too many different exchanges, OTC trading, blah blah blah. You know, it just makes it really tough. I mean, volume's extremely important, and it's just not as important on crypto. I wish it was. If you enjoyed the uh, education on the spring, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Thanks uh, for the 667 people here. Thanks for the 234 likes. Been live an hour and 11 minutes now. Oh yeah. And then, what can happen is you can have a false breakout to the upside and do the same thing. And what is this called? It is called an up thrust. So it's the inverse of a spring is the up thrust. Same thing though. You break out, tons of volume comes in, very little reward for the buyers and just flirts around, farts around, and then just falls back through, then back tests with a lower high, and then you should see a very large drop the downside. Okay, spring and up thrust, Kangs. Just remember the outside the box thinking on Bitcoin is if we could, hey, we might be in a downtrend in the short term, midterm. So that means if we start painting bearish patterns, they might be more reliable. Just remember that. And we seem to be potentially painting a slanted head and shoulders. That's it.
Spike from Little Giants will have nothing on Jake. Dude, you better massage his calves with dehydrated milk or something, dude. Oberuski man. Dude, I need to watch that movie again, dude. Maybe we'll watch that movie in Vegas, dude. Okay. Uh, something else I guess we can talk about. We've already done the education on this, but um, let's just say we stay range bound, right? We have a negative yield spread for July. Yield spread inversion had happened only three times within the last 40 years. Forward indicator for recession. Yeah, but uh, if they uh, keep cutting rates and more liquidity keeps coming in the markets, this price is just, the stock market just might go higher, might keep going higher. PPT, plunge protection team, they're not letting the dump happening. And stock market's already decided at this point that uh, there is not going to be any more major, major retraces or like, you know, minor retraces. It's going to be a crash. Like, I think everyone's made up their mind when everyone decides it's time to dump, it's going to dump really, really hard, just like 08 or worse. So, yeah, we know that. But good luck. Good luck calling when that's going to be exactly. All right, sure, it's coming, man. It's coming. Yeah, I know that. That's why gold is killing it right now. That's why gold had a Momo shift of one of the most complex patterns I've ever seen. Uh, most complex inverse head and shoulders I've ever seen. Huge pattern from 2013 to 2019. Central banks bought up in the past six years $155 billion worth of gold. And they bought up, I think, like $10 billion worth of bonds. What a joke, man. All right. So, sure, man. Sure, Johnny. But again, it's hard finding those tops exactly, right? Thank you, dude. And then it's like when you rally up, sell off again. What will happen is you get a big move down, a pretty big move down. But then at the end, you get a, a slightly lower low than your previous low right here. And that indicates... Another terminology It's what we call the shortening of the thrust. Gosh dang it. And what will happen is, typically, I think system level for the three man. Appreciate it. Uh, what will happen here is on your oscillators. You know, you oftentimes will be getting... Bullish divergence, man. Right? So you're, you're getting the shortening of the thrust near the bottom of some sort of range. And you'll be getting bullish divergence on your RSI or your MACD. Okay, and these are like buying signals. These are great signals that uh, the sellers are exhausted and we may rally. And then sometimes you may get the shortening of the thrust outside on the breakout, on the scrubby little breakout before rallying back in for the spring. So remember that. And then what will happen is impending price action reversal to the upside. Got it? Wyckoff connect, man. Beautiful. <sighs> okay, so Bitcoin looking very weak right now. On its price action, not really doing much of anything, and uh, yeah, we could see lower prices. It's not as certain. It's very difficult to see, kind of, uh, without that daily help. We're not getting much of it. Okay, man. Hope you like that uh, education visualization. Okay, man. So I don't know, man. It's kind of dead tonight uh you know it's just the market so i think i'll just get out of here early second live stream of the day um been alive an hour and 
15 or really an hour and 18 minutes whatever dude all right so uh thanks so much for the likes love support contributions thanks uh probes man for that 99.99 repeating of course they were jenkins uh and thanks for the, the 650 people who uh, hung out with me tonight and we i think we invested in ourselves got a little better looked at some markets all that stuff right a little education razzle dazzle and zoom in so what we do is we will do it all over again tomorrow man and see where bitcoin will land so y'all amazing i'll be back till next time respect the t a and 58 cents shortening of the thrust just prior to pump so many eggplants good night brother thanks pros man for the 2358 bruh much loved it highly chat for probes yes many many sexual references out the yin yang I'll see you tomorrow man gangs
some evidence Man Bear Pig could be in this area. My name is JP. I'm a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Adios, turd nuggets.